everybody, how are you doing? It's Crystal Ann Compton, and I'm super stoked to be with you here today. And I hope you are having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. In this video, we're gonna be doing a three card oracle card reading. I'm excited. I love creating time and space and opportunity for spirit to come in and give us all messages. And truly, if we ask for these messages, we will receive them. If we knock on the door of connection with spirit, guess what? Spirit always opens that door and meets us right where we are. And just participating in these readings allows spirit to demonstrate that to us. And it also allows us to connect with how we receive spirit messages. As we look at the cards, as I hold them up to you, you're going to be checking out for yourself which card resonates with you, which card you feel strongly is for you. You receive the impression of that through your intuition, through your psychic faculties. And when you can notice how it's coming through, you can then lean into that and develop those faculties. So it's just a cool exercise. It's also, again, a cool opportunity to really receive answers to some of our questions. And so to begin, I'm going to ask you to think of a question or think of an issue or maybe a condition that's happening in your life right now around which you'd like a little bit of illumination or a little bit of clarity. And once you have that on your heart or in your mind, we will move on to the cards. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the cards. I'm going to show you the back of the cards so you're not going to actually see the meanings and you are going to determine for yourself which card resonates with you the most. Maybe you'll feel a kind of magnetic pull, or maybe you'll just know, maybe you'll hear something in your inner voice, maybe you'll see something in your mind's eye. Again, this is all intuition. This is all psychic stuff. So pay attention to that. Before I actually show you these cards, I do want to show you the deck that I'm using, which I've used before, actually. This is the Sacred Symbols deck for divination and meditation by Marcella Kroll. This is one of my favorite decks because it's very simple. The messages are pretty quick and very clear, and they tend to be very accurate. So this is one of my favorite decks. I'm not sure if she still produces these, but if so, I highly recommend it. All right. You have your question, you have your issue around which you'd like some illumination. Perfect. Now let's move to the cards. I'm going to show you one card at a time to allow you to determine which card is for you. Starting with card number one. Card number one. Card number one. Moving on from card number one, we go to card number two. Card number two. Card number two. Last but never least, we have card number three. Card number three. Card number three. All right. Very quickly, I will show you these three cards again. Card number one. Card number two. And card number three. All right. What I would like you to do now, if you'd be so kind, is drop down into the comments and let me know which card is for you. And also, if you can share with us how the information came through, did it come through clairvoyantly or clairsentiently or clairaudiently or claircognizantly, just let us know how you received it because it's always helpful. It helps other people to identify how their own system works when they see how your system works. Now, the reason I ask you to let me know which card resonates before you actually see the reveal is because it allows you or it really requires you to trust in all this time of, of having students and helping them with their intuitive development, one thing I can say for sure is that many, many intuitive students doubt themselves. People who are working with their psychic abilities tend to question 
the veracity and the accuracy of what's coming through. But we want to remove the tendency for that. We just want to trust whatever was given. And by declaring it, we do that. And we say, you know what? Card number three is for me. I don't know what the message is, but I know it's for me and I'm going to trust that. Or card number two or card number one. So just drop down and let us know what card you selected. Thank you very much. Now let's move on to the reveal. We are going to start with card number one. For those of you who selected this card, you selected shadow, shadow. The message that accompanies this card is what's hidden right now? What's in the dark? What is it that you don't want to see? This card comes to tell you that all cannot be in the light because there must be a balance. The shadow isn't evil. It's just misunderstood. Do tread carefully here, though, because all things may not be as they seem. The symbol of the shadow represents the darker and hidden aspects of oneself, the ghosts that we hide in the closet. Now, when I see this card... This tends to be a message that you want to look a little bit more deeply because, again, things may not be exactly what they seem. Also, I see this card sometimes when somebody has some of this internal patterning or internal programming, if you will, that acts as an obstacle to them achieving higher understanding or even higher conditions or an up-leveling in their life. Maybe there's some sort of a belief that you have about yourself or about people that's keeping you from achieving that. Or maybe there's just something that's happened to you in your life that keeps you maybe a bit more negative or a bit cut off from what is being offered to you. Seeing the shadow is an opportunity or an invitation to work in the shadow and to bring light into those spaces and places Places that we might not want to deal with, but which we must deal with in order to create more space for spirit to come in and occupy. The shadow and shadow work is a really, really good thing. Some of us have a lot of shadow, don't we? And we have to work through our stuff in order to hit that next level. And so now is the time for you to do that. All of you who selected card number one, shadow. Moving on now to card number two. For those of you who selected card number two, you selected the new moon. This card represents new beginnings, a fresh start. It is an auspicious time to start new projects. Meditate on this at the new moon to bring new energy into your life. Write a list of intentions and dreams and goals and wishes to support your new direction. The new moon in earth-based religions is a symbol of new beginnings and a fortunate time to plant new seeds for the future. So for those of you who are wondering whether to start something or begin something or move in a new direction, this card is telling you that now is the time. There's creative energy in the offing. There is a lot being offered to you. And sometimes in order to take the new opportunity, we have to leave behind things that aren't serving us anymore or that are no longer compatible with where we are or where we want to go. So to have the new thing, sometimes we have to shed the old things and this card might be representing that as well. But either way, it's a good time for something new in your life. New moon. All right, last but not least, for all of you who selected card number three, you selected lucky. Lucky, and don't you love to see it? Absolutely. You've got the Midas touch, this card tells you. Everything you touch turns to gold at this time. Underscore at this time. When I see this card, it means you've entered a window of time and a window of opportunity where everything you intend and seek to manifest will come your way. Enjoy this winning streak you're on. Meditate on this when you need an extra boost of being in the right place at the right time kind of energy. Horseshoes are a talisman of love and protection. So if you're seeing this card, that means fortune is shining or smiling upon you. Now's the time to make your move because it's going to go your way. You are lucky. Now, This deck often tells us to meditate on the symbols that it shows us in the various cards. And I kind of want to touch upon that. You can actually take a symbol, for example, this horseshoe. You can take it with you into a meditation. You bring it up in your mind's eye, the symbol or a picture of the symbol. And then what you do is you activate that symbol. Now to activate a symbol, what you do 
is you send your consciousness and your energy and your intention into the symbol that you're meditating upon. It's like focusing or hyper-focusing on something, just sending all of your awareness into this location, the location of the symbol. And you do this until such time as it is activated in your awareness. This is going to be different for everybody. When I am meditating upon and activating a symbol, I actually feel an energetic quality shift when it's activated or when it's filled with my consciousness and intention. Sometimes the symbol will start to glow in my mind's eye. Sometimes there'll be just an energetic wave that happens to the symbol. Other times I'll actually hear clairaudiently the sound of like a, a powering up, like a whoop, like I just know, okay, that means I've activated the symbol. Now to activate a symbol means that we're actually activating the principle of this symbol in our life. If, for example, if you didn't get lucky today and you got shadow, you still need to do your, the work around your shadow and you want to bring the light into it, but you can take the symbol of lucky. You can take the horseshoe and the principle of the horseshoe into your meditation, activate it consciously, and invite the energy of this symbol, luck, into your life. That's one of the things you can do. New moon, same thing. So that's what they mean when they say take this into meditation. That's so that you can understand it, work with it, and activate it. And there you have it. Shadow, new moon, and lucky. Now what I'd love for you to do, if, if you wouldn't mind, is drop down and let me just know how that resonates with you. I read all of those comments. I love doing this particular exercise or doing these kinds of readings. So let me know how these messages serve you. And until next time in the next video, just know that I got nothing but love for you, baby. Okay, okay, okay.